beliefs. What are beliefs? Are beliefs that how can we change that? So we believe, okay, let's give it all the change possible change to politicians. Politicians have solutions. So actually, uh, if you ask any politician, how do we make transportation safer? How do you make airplanes safer? How do you feed the hungry? How do you grow food without exhausting the soil? I don't know. How do you how do you bridge differences in nation with nations uh, in terms of war? I don't know. How do you make cars that don't hit each other? I don't know. Just think, what are they doing there? They don't know anything. They really just ask any politician, just go and ask just about a technical social problem. A technical, more like a precise question. So they don't know anything. What are they doing there? Right to, um, what was it called? Represent, uh, representatives. Represent. Why do you have to write to the representatives? Or to the court? Or to the where? If you are there, you're supposed to know the modern technology. You're supposed to know everything about human behavior. You're supposed to know everything about science. You're supposed to know uh, everything that can solve the social problem technically, not politically, not through wars or through through imposing taxation and increasing the tax and increasing tax on land or the, you know through through technical problems, not the money problems. So actually, also the beliefs. What is religion, right? So religion is a part of education, and religion has a great role of educating people as morals, say, right, and morals and use morals. But what happens when religion says if we if we make a take a quotation from the Bible that says thou shall not kill? Do you understand that thou shall not kill? You can't kill. Do you understand? It's an old English language and says thou shall not kill means you shall not kill. Thou means you in old English language. So what happens in terms of war? What, what happens? Why do, why do uh, Christian uh, countries go and make a war? What's wrong with this religion? The, so I'm not talking about religion, but I'm talking about how we interpret uh, the Bible, how we interpret our religion or our beliefs, right? So again, uh, different backgrounds and different people. How we interpret in the way we interpret in terms of our system. Our system is money based, so we interpret our religion money based. If you go to a temple, you give the temple money and they can pray for your car so your car, car doesn't hit another car. What's that? I'm sorry, but how can you pray for a car and you give a car like good energy and doesn't hit another and then your car hits another car? And so, what that? I paid you money, man. <laughs> do you understand? It's like, but that's people do that, you know. And what is religion? Religion like master of like if it gives you everything that now is a system money based system. So religion is money based. Most of religion, I wouldn't say all of it, but money. But the original religion has a different purpose, and you know. And the same for education and everything, but because we have a money-based system, of course. So the third is money is a solution. So money is a solution. Some people believe in money is a solution. For example, if there is no money on an island, I mean, um, there is no money you have. There is no value. Money doesn't represent our capacity. Money doesn't represent gold we have we can back up gold. all the first gold can back up money we don't have enough money we do not have enough money money is just a piece of paper and a number in the bank that is created every day money doesn't represent anything if for example all money disappeared in tomorrow what will be all money disappeared tomorrow so there is no, we have still resources, but we don't have money. Can we live? Of course. As long as we have resources, as long as we have land, as long as we have water, we can live. 
Mommy doesn't represent anything. I will just run up a group of people thrown up on an island and say, yeah, I'm a rich man. So that a line, an island has no water, no clean water. The island has no food. Will the money solve the problem? So body it has no solution. It's just that everything is enforced by the country or by the system. Uh, some people believe that law is a solution to all the problems they have. So it's always actually cheaper to keep people than prison or kill them. Just for example, I'll give an example of a stolen watch. If a person steals a watch, it costs 100 US dollars, it's 3,520 dollars, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. So this person steals the watch already for third time and they prison the person for one year in prison. Can you think about having a person for one year in, pers in prison? You have to pay insurance. You have to pay health insurance. You have to pay tax on this person mm -hmm. in some countries. You have to pay, <laughs> you have to feed this person. You have to pay, to pay the space for the space where this person lives. That's so expensive. They're like, how many watch would you buy for, for, for one year holding the person in prison? That's insane. That's crazy. That's insane. So it's always cheaper to feed people than kill them or prison them. Kill them, I mean, it's always cheaper to feed people and share with other countries or other nations that some resources than to go make weapons that cost a lot of money because there is money in wars and kill many people. It's so expensive, it's extremely expensive. So 